Now let us do a question based on it. This question has appeared in IJSO 2009. The question is two circles which enters A and B have radii 8 cm and 1 cm respectively. The distance, the distance AB is the distance AB is 13 cm. A third circle, a third circle with center C. A third circle with center C and radius R. And radius R centimeter touches. Now let us dis discuss the next case. Case 2. Case 2 is when the circles are externally touching. Externally touching circles. Externally touching circles. The scenario will be like this. Suppose this is the first circle and the other circle will be like this. Both the circles are touching at this point. Suppose the center of the first circle is C1 and the center of the second circle is C2. Let us join C1 with C2. Now the radius of the first circle is R1 and the radius of the second circle is R2. Let's say the distance between C1 and C2 is D. So from the scenario and the geometry over here, you can clearly see that the distance between these circles is actually equals to sum of the radius. Therefore, for observing the situation, what is the condition? The condition is that the distance between the centers of the circle must be equal to sum of the radii of the circle. Now, how many tangents and what kind of tangents are possible over here? Let's, let's see. We can draw a DCT like this over here. And we can draw a DCT like this over here also. So there are two DCTs. DCTs will be 2. Let's talk about transverse tangent. Now over here you can see that the tangent over here like this passing through the point where the circles are touching. This tangent is the only transverse common tangent for this scenario. So for these two circles there is only one TCT. And that PCT will be this line D. Is this thing clear? Oh. Now on the basis of these two cases, let us solve a question. This question has appeared in IJSO 2009. What is the question? What is the question? Let's see. The question is two circles with centers A and B have radii 8 cm and 1 cm respective. The distance AB is 13 cm. You are given the distance between the centers AB which is 13 cm. A third circle with center C. A third circle with center C and radius and radius R cm touches both circles externally. Now, the last condition which is given is that if angle ACB is 90 degree, then value of R is. Then find the value of R. Now, to attempt this question, let us read the question carefully. Two circles with center A and B have radii 8 cm and 1 cm. So, let's say the radius of first circle is 8 cm. The radius of second circle be 1 cm and the distance between these centers AB is equal to 13 cm. So we are given radius is 8 cm, the radius of first circle is 8 cm and the radius of second circle is 1 cm and the distance between two circles is 13 cm. Now suppose the distance of AB is 13 cm. Distance between these, uh, okay. So, the distance between the 
centers of the circles is 13 cm. As you can see over there, the distance between the centers is greater than the sum of the radii. Therefore, the circles will be non-intersecting, like this. So these two circles are non-intersecting. Let's say the centers, okay, the centers are given to us. The center of the circle is A and the center of this circle is B. Now suppose a third circle like this is touching over here. So suppose this third circle is in, uh, touching the given two circles over here. The center of this circle is... Now, because these circles are touching each other, therefore if I join the line AC, joining their centers, then it is clear that the radius of the first circle is 8 and the radius of the third circle is R. Therefore, the length of AC will be 8 plus R. Similarly, over here, if I'll join C with B, the radius of this circle is 1 and the radius of this circle is R. Therefore, clearly, from the second case, we can say that BC will be equal to R plus 1. Now, let us join AB. In the question, it is given that AB is 13 centimeter. Now, at the end, it is given that the angle ACB is 90 degree. So, this angle over here is 90 degree. So, now, in this triangle, ACB, which is actually right angle, by using Pythagoras theorem, you can find out, by using Pythagoras theorem, you can find out the length, the value of R. So, you will get that 8 plus R whole square plus R plus 1 whole square is equals to AB square, where the length of AB is 30. This will become, after solving, 2R square plus from here you will get 16R. And from here you will get 2R, that is 16 plus 2, 18R equals to, over here you will get 169, 13 square 169, and from here you will get 8 square 64, and 1 square 1, 64 plus 1, 65. On further solving, you will get R square plus 9R minus, after subtraction it will become 104, and 104 by 2 will be 52. So the factors of this quadratic in R are given by R minus 4 into R plus 13 equals to 0. Because R equals to minus 13 will not be possible because radius has to be positive. Therefore, the only solution for this quadratic satisfying above conditions will be R equals to 4. So what will be the radius? The radius will be equals to 4 centimeter. So this is the final answer. Let us take one more question. Now, this question has appeared again in IJSO 2009. The question is, two circles of radii, 2 cm and 3 cm, touch each other externally. The length of Direct common tangent, I am writing it in short, direct common tangent to the two circles will be. So what you need to find over here, the length of direct common tangent. Options are 2 root 6 centimeter, root 26 centimeter. Um, C option is 5 centimeter and D option is 2.4 centimeter. Let's attempt this question. Two circles of radii 2 cm and 3 cm. So R1 is given to us as 2 cm and R2 is given to us as 3 cm. It is given that the circles touch externally like this. If the circles touch externally, then the direct common tangent will be like this. Now we know that how to find the length of direct common tangent. So we can apply the formula the length of finding direct common tangent, that is LD. The formula is under root of D square minus R1 minus R2 whole square. So you can calculate by putting the values inside the formula. Under root D square, D, the distance between the circles. Now, it this thing, the distance, is hidden in the question. 
how it is hidden because these circles are touching each other therefore when you will join the centers this distance between the centers will be equal to the radii of this the sum of the radii of these two circles so what will be d d will be equals to 3 plus 2 so clearly the value of d comes out to be 5 so here you can put 5 square minus 3 minus 2 whole square it is it is one and the same if you write 3 minus 2 or 2 minus 3 so it will be 25 minus 1 under the root that is 24 under the root that is equals to 2 root 6 so the answer will be option A similarly like the two above cases there are three more cases which may be possible so let us discuss them case 3 when the circles are intersecting circles The circles are intersecting circles. In this situation, the circles will be like this. Suppose this is the first circle and this will be the second circle. Like this. Let me draw it with second color. Like this. Suppose the center of the circle is C1 and the center of the circle is C2. Now, let us talk about the direct common tangents and the transverse common tangents. As you can see, the direct common tangents can be like this and like this. So in this scenario, how many direct common tangents will be there? 2, D1 and D2. But you can see over here that no transverse common tangent is possible. So we will write no TCT is possible. No transverse common tangent is possible. Now let us talk about the condition. What could be the condition? By what con condition we can identify that the situation is like this? You can clearly see over here that the condition will be Distance between the centers is actually less than the sum of the radii of the two circles. As you can see over here. So R1 is the radii of the first circle and R2 is the radii of the second circle. In that case, the distance between the centers will be less than the sum of the radii. So this is the third case. Let us discuss the next case. Case 4. Case 4. Case 4 is internally touching circle internally touching circles will be like this suppose this is a circle then another circle touches it like this suppose the center of the first circle is C1 and the center of the second circle is C2 let us join C1 with C2 and I am again joining these this line joining C1, C2 at the point D. Clearly you can see that C1D is the radii of the first circle which is equals to R1. C2D is the radii of second circle which is equals to R2. Then what will be the distance between C1 and C2? This distance which will be D and you can clearly see that it will be equals to D will be equals to C1D minus C2D that is R1 minus R2. So what is the condition for this situation? The condition is that the distance between the centers of the circle must be equals to the difference between their radii. Here we are assuming that R1 is greater than R2. So that distance D will be positive. Now let us discuss the last case, case number 5. Case number 5 implies the case when one circle is contained inside another circle. Now the situation is like this. This is the first circle and this is the second circle. Let's say center of the circle is C1 and C2. The condition over here will be the distance less than R1 minus R2 mod. Why I am putting mod over here? Because I want the distance to be positive. So this is the condition for this scenario. As you can see over here that no transverse common tangent, there could be no common tangent. So in this scenario, there will be no common tangent. So, it's th so there is no point of talking about DCT or TCT. So these are the cases which are possible in case of common tangents. Now with the help of these conditions, we can easily identify the position of given circles and solve the given problems accordingly. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.